Reserve, gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield three minutes to uh, my friend, the co-chair of the Second Amendment Caucus, Mr. Massey. The thank gentleman the from Kentucky is recognized for three minutes. I thank the gentleman from Ohio. The Democrats today describe this Senate bill as a step forward. If you're saving lives, it's a step backwards, folks. If you're banning guns, it's a small step forward. Yes, in fact, it is. Almost everybody on the other side of the aisle today has said it doesn't go far enough. What do they mean? Well, it's a red flag law bill, and they want to take all of the guns from some of the people. But it doesn't go far enough for them because it doesn't yet take all of the guns from all of the people. That's their goal. Who has taken a step forward? Which institution? Which branch of government? Well, actually, if you're counting how many lives are going to be saved, you have to consider that the Supreme Court is the institution, the branch of government, that has taken two steps forward in the last 48 hours to save life. One of those steps was to reaffirm the Heller decision that men and women in this country have the right to defend their own lives. But the second step taken today was to affirm that the states have the right, to, the state legislatures have the right to defend the lives of the unborn. This bill is ineffective, unconstitutional, and ill-conceived without consideration for the dangerous unintended consequences. Did the drafters consider that changing the definition of gun dealer to be more ambiguous is going to make every American a gun dealer when they transfer a gun to a friend or a family member? Did they consider, did the senators consider in their sleep deprivation when they drafted this bill hurriedly at late at night that using childhood mental health records as a basis for denying adults their basic rights to self-defense is going to discourage many parents from seeking mental health care for their children? If children who need it go without mental health care and early intervention, intervention their conditions will grow worse, we will see more suicides, and we will see more mass shootings. Unfortunately and inevitably, this bill will cost more lives than it will save. Red flag laws are going to have the same effect that considering mental health care for children will have. People will not seek mental health care, and we'll see more, we'll see more damage to, to the American public. If politicians here were serious, and they're not serious, they're going to come back. They'll be back. You'll be back here six months, year. You want another bite at the apple to ban guns because this bill won't do this bill won't do what you say if you were serious you would acknowledge that 90 percent 96 percent of mass public shootings happen in an area where guns are banned and they would repeal the prohibitions that keep law-abiding citizens from exercising their god-given rights enshrined in the second amendment and i yield back to the gentleman from ohio gentleman yields back gentleman from ohio reserves members are reminded to direct their marks to the chair the gentleman from new york is